Analyzing the Author's Argument, a Guide to Active Reading. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we dive into English language learning, specifically focusing on effective study strategies. Today, we are going to tackle a very important part of active reading techniques, analyzing the author's argument. This skill is not only crucial for academic success, but it's also valuable in everyday life where you need to critically evaluate information. So, let's get started. An author's argument is basically the main point or claim that the writer is trying to convey through their text. This can be an opinion, a perspective, or a proposal for action. It's usually supported by various forms of evidence, such as data, anecdotes, or logical reasoning. Identifying the argument. The first step in analyzing an argument is to identify it. Look for thesis statements or key sentences that sum up the main point. These are often found in the introduction or conclusion of the text. Once you've identified the author's argument, the next step is to break it down into its components. Generally, an argument has three main elements. 1. Claim. The point the author is trying to prove. 2. Evidence. The data, facts, or examples used to support the claim. 3. Warrant. The logic or reasoning that connects the evidence to the claim. Finding the elements. To find these elements, you need to read critically. Ask questions like, what is the author claiming? What evidence is being used to support this claim? Is the reasoning sound? Evaluation involves assessing the quality of the argument. Ask yourself. 1. Is the claim clearly stated? 2. Is the evidence relevant and convincing? 3. Is the warrant or logic solid? Biases and assumptions. While evaluating, be mindful of any biases or assumptions that may influence the argument. These can sometimes undermine the author's credibility. To fully grasp the author's argument, you need to engage in active reading. This means taking notes, highlighting important points, and even discussing the material with others. By doing so, you'll not only understand the argument better but also remember it for longer. Practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the better you'll get at it. Start with simpler texts and gradually move on to more complex articles, essays, or academic papers. And there you have it. We've covered how to identify, break down, and critically evaluate an author's argument as part of active reading. Remember, this is a skill that takes time to develop, so keep practicing. Happy reading and analyzing! We hope you found this video helpful, and as always, if you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, 